This is Shen Wang. I will introduce my KDD paper, Structure Deep Brain Network Mining. Our work is in topics of healthcare, bioinformatics, deep learning, and graph theory. Brain networks obtained from neural imaging data have been commonly employed to study neurological disorder. Connectivity patterns are usually embedded within the graph structures by a set of vectors and edges, where vectors correspond to regions of interest in the brain, and the edges represent the connections, connectivity strengths, and or correlation between brain regions. The linkage information in brain network is important because, for example, three brain regions should work collaboratively in a health brain. The absence of any connection between them may indicate a connectivity problem in the brain. Brain network is complicated. There are a number of challenges to learn from, brain, from it. Therefore, how to learn useful representation of brain networks and preserve the underlying structure is a critical problem. Here, here is a key innovation of our work, including the whole framework and the three important parts. Here is an overview of the proposed SDBN method. A graph reordering technique is proposed with the help of structural clustering. The technique corresponds brain networks from different subjects and makes them comparable and expose the graph modular structure. A structure augmentation is also in introduced to enhance the, the structure information by adding the spatial information and to elaborate the effect of the noise. To learn highly nonlinear feature representation from the brain network data while dealing with the problem of the small sample size and high dimensionality, we introduce a novel CN architecture. We evaluate our model on four real-world brain network data sets from three different neurological disorders. We investigate the effectiveness of the land structure preserving graph feature representation for brain disease detection. We further test the effectiveness of graph reordering and unsupervised learning augmentation. Since the proposed method is end-to-end -end and task-oriented, its application is not limited to binary disease classification. It is easy to extend to the other clinical tasks with objects such as multi-class classification, clustering, regression, and ranking. It's easy to apply our framework to the other medical tasks. In the end, I would like to thank my collaborators.